Sourcing master Glenn Cathy has a passion for finding the best way to deliver impact at every step of the recruiting life cycle. Glenn's blog is rich with insights on how to become a world-class sourcer. Glenn uses a method of agile sourcing that he graciously allowed me to name, First 15, since it describes what he does in the first 15 minutes of any new search. The goal of the First 15 strategy is to design queries that will capture as many qualified prospects as possible. There are three steps in the strategy. The first step is to develop a query. And a query is simply a request for information from a database, whether that's your ATS, CRM, or LinkedIn. Now, based on the position requirements, you'll develop a simple query, being careful not to over-engineer it. At this early stage, you're not trying to find people to contact per se, you're actually trying to learn from your search results. Glenn advises that you should not include a region or locality at this stage. Do you have any ideas as to why? Well, Glenn notes that it's because some of the best profiles to learn from may not be in your target location. The second step of the first 15 is to execute the query. Now, after running the query, you should inspect the results. Here, you're looking to identify issues, like why are false positives being returned? Observe trends, like what patterns or concepts you're noticing. Lastly, you'll want to analyze the data, taking note of any titles or companies that very strong candidates seem to mention. After you've developed and executed the query, the final step of the first 15 is to modify the query. In this step, you're looking to reduce the number of false positives in your overall search results, build more inclusive OR strings while retaining a high relevance, and observe changes in the overall results. Now, you should repeat this final step, modification, as often as needed. Here's a tip from the master. You can never tell how good your search is until you run and inspect the results. Glenn's first 15 strategy is easy to integrate into both your new and existing searches. And if you want to supercharge the first 15, why not pair it with a worksheet I created called the PS3. It's a simple three by three grid that will help you organize your thoughts before you build your Boolean strings. Some tools that can support this strategy include timekeeping tools, organization and editing tools, and Glenn's automatic or Boolean string builder. Are there any other tools that you would add to support this strategy? Tweet me at TalonGenie with the hashtag first15 and let me know what tools you might add to the stack.